Hey, happy Friday. Look who I got. It's Punky Doo. You sniffing my hair? She's sniffing my hair. Why the hell are you sniffing my hair? I'm not. I'm not. She wants me to get up there and lay down on the bed. See what I do is, Donna. Pumpkin, she got a resting bitch face. Look at her. She's just bitchy. Hey, pumpkin. Pumpkin. Sorry, I'm gonna poke you in the face. Oh, she's purring. She's purring. She wants me to get up there and lay down on the bed. And I lay down and I, I take my arm and I do it like this and she lays right here in my armpit. She's patiently waiting for me to get on the bed. I've been sitting down here on the floor looking at coats online. I've been looking at Kingsman outdoor coats. They're men's coats, but they're cool as hell. And I found a couple that I really liked and they're on sale. And I'm like, why are you looking at coats? I have, I have this conversation with myself. Mary, you have a closet full of coats. You wear the same damn coat every day. You don't wear any of your other... You have one coat that you wear. All those other coats... You, why are you looking at more coats? I don't know. They're cool, though. Kingsman Outdoor Coats. It popped up in my Facebook feed, and they, they know me. Damn it. That, they know me. That algorithm works like a charm, because they convince me to buy shit sometimes. But I was looking at those coats, and they were just so nice. And then I, I clicked off of it, like, what the hell am I looking... Because I started to put one in, in a cart. Like, you don't need to put anything in a cart. Get off this website. They're on sale. It doesn't freaking matter. You have like 10 coats you never wear. Hey, Evie. Hey. It's Evie. Look. Evie. Hey. You gonna lay on the cord and take a nap? Shut up. What well, doesn't count if you don't lay on the cord? She's always in here laying on the cord. Anyway, sorry. I just finished editing a video. I'm not going to put it up tonight, though. I made an edit, a video putting together this clock that I bought on Amazon. I hope it doesn't offend anybody. I don't mean for it to. I, it's just something that made me laugh. It's a, it's a clock. You, you want to see it? You want a sneak peek? I probably won't post this video until probably like Tuesday night next week. Um, people have gotten used to me not posting stuff on Friday and Saturday night, so... I think I did actually get a wild here and post a video last Friday night and almost nobody watched it because number one, people aren't looking for ASMR videos on Friday night. And number two, people are, not, are used to me not uploading anything on Friday night so they weren't really looking for anything. So I think I'm going to save it, but I started not to even make a video of trying to assemble this clock. I didn't realize it was going to come unassembled. I ordered it on Amazon. It took six weeks to get here and when it came, all the parts were in a plastic bag. You have to put the damn clock together yourself and there are no instructions to tell you how to do that. You just have to figure it out. Um, I don't mean any offense by this clock, okay? I stated, I think I said that in the video at least twice. I'm not trying to offend anybody with this clock. I just have a sense of humor that, I, I don't know, some people don't find stuff funny that I find funny, and I'm sorry, you know, I, but again, let me just show you the freaking clock. Pumpkin's yelling at me. What? Huh? What? What? She just goes, that's how she yells at you. Look at that face. Oh, that bitch face. Pumpkin. She's purring though, she's happy. So I bought, the, I saw this clock on Amazon and it just struck me as funny, I don't know. Amazon knows me really well too. Although lately I've been ordering car parts for my dad and I bought some Christmas presents for people that were unlike anything I normally buy. So now I am, usually by the end of December, Amazon's going, I don't even know who you are anymore. Here's a, here's a big wheel. Maybe you'd like that or this, uh, how about a crowbar? I, I don't know what the hell you want anymore. There is no predicting what you're going to order next. There is no rhyme or reason to this list of shit that you bought this month. And then you have all the angel tree stuff, too, that Amazon's just going, I, just, <laughs> I don't know what to recommend to you. Here are some nuts and bolts and a screwdriver? How about a banana holder? I don't know what the hell you want. It usually gets back right by about February. Um... <clears throat> So I bought this, saw this clock on there, and I just laughed. I just laughed my ass off when I saw this clock. I don't know why I find this so funny. I just did. I do not mean any offense by this clock, okay? I have to keep saying that, because I don't want anybody's feelings to get hurt. I just thought it was funny. Okay, this is the clock I assembled in the video. I took the battery out of it, because it clicks really, it 
ticks really loud and it got on my nerves. Jesus, would you look at the time? He's not actually looking at the time. He's looking off into space, but I still thought it was funny. Jesus, would you look at the time? I don't know. Anyway, it was not assembled when it, it came in a bag and you have to put it together. And it doesn't sit secure like it, it, it's not. You have to super glue it to the back. You shouldn't have to super glue it, but you do. And the little kickstand on the back broke off when I was trying to get it out of the cellophane wrapper. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. I, I don't know. I may have to donate it now that I've got it. I don't, I don't know. It didn't, I, it just, once I had it here, got to looking at it, I ain't really, I don't know. I'm just kind of disappointed. I hated that I had to put the damn thing together. I might keep it. I'll have to think about it. Anyway, uh, Glenda the Good Witch and I went out to dinner tonight, and it was wonderful. And uh, we had really good food, and I'm very happy. We had a nice conversation about some stuff, and I'm just happy. I feel I feel good. I feel good. Um, it's just one of those conversations that you have every now and then, like, you know, where are we? What's going on? Where do you see this going? And... I think it was a really good conversation that we had because long term, you know, we were talking about, you know, his plans for the next five to ten years, my plans for the next five to ten years, what does that look like? So we had a discussion about that and it was really great and I, I feel really good about it. So, sorry, my heater's doing something weird. It's okay. Sorry. I have a little heater down here at my feet and it's Thought it was flickering for a second <laughs> no it's not but i feel really good and we had a nice meal and it was a good time that was his christmas present for me and then i get to take him out to eat another night we're gonna get back to watching better call saul because we still haven't finished watching that we got through the first three seasons and then we both got busy and it just never we never got back to watching it so we're both gonna try to take some time soon and watch go back and watch the last couple two three episodes that we watched so we're kind of refreshed so we can start on season four Eventually, we'll finish the show. I don't know. We've watched Breaking Bad together, and I watched it again by myself, the whole thing. Um, I gotta say, though, that first season of Better Call Saul was painful. I, I think I slept through at least half of it. It was so long and drawn out. and But I hear it gets better. Four and five are better, so we'll see. Um, what else? Oh, my car. My car. I did take my car today to that guy. So now, as I said before, there was this other place I took it to, and they charged me $120 for an oil change, which is obscene, and $60 for a diagnostic in which they found nothing. Like, well, what's causing the noise? Oh, I don't know. Uh, that'll be $60, please, for no more information than you had yesterday. $60. My dumbass paid it. Like, that's the last click you're getting out of Junior. I'm not doing any more with y'all. Take my money. That's the last money you're going to get out of me because I don't feel like dealing with you. I'm not going to argue. I'm just going to pay you. And I'm going to walk out of here and never come back. They, long story short, they couldn't figure out what the noise was. My car was making a noise. And they couldn't figure out what it was. And they said, well, here's a list of things that your car needs. Well, will, will any of these things fix that noise? Um, yeah. M more than likely. It's maybe it might. Well, I don't know. I can't guarantee it. But you need these things done. Parts and labor total. It was over two thousand dollars worth of shit. No. So I took it to this other place and dropped it off uh, seven thirty this morning. And my son brought me home. And they called me about ten. The guy called me about ten o'clock. And he said, "I believe I found the source of the, the noise." And uh, there was okay. So there's a metal piece above one of the, the exhaust pipes, there's a metal piece above it that's held in place by two little spot welds. Well, the welds had come undone and it was kind of ticking on the top of the exhaust pipe. And so he said, I fixed that, I welded that back up where it's supposed to be. And then he said, uh, I, I told him the other stuff that the place said I needed and he just laughed, he said, <laughs> they what? You don't need any of that. No, you don't need any of it. Um, 
Your spark plugs look good. Rec Nissan recommends you change them out every 100,000 miles. You're at 120-some thousand. Um, they're fine, though. I mean, if you don't want to change them out, you're fine. It's up to you uh, if you want to do it or not. I said, I guess go ahead and do it. I mean, you got it. You might as well. So he did that. He put in a new air filter, cabin filter, welded the little thing back up. And there was some, I can't remember what the other thing. It was little stuff. So it was just little stuff. The total parts and labor was less than, it was less than 300. It was like $242 total for everything. And I picked it up at one o'clock today and it runs great. It's perfectly fine. Yeah, they wanted me to do $2,013 worth of work on my car, this other place. He said, you don't, you don't need any of that. You don't need a bit of that. Nothing that, nothing that he did was on that list. It was all different stuff. He said, you, no, you don't, you don't need any of that. You're good. So anyway, problem solved. My car is wonderful again. And, uh, Pumpkin, are you okay? Pumpkin? Huh? What? You want me to get on the bed? Yeah? What's the matter? You talk to me? Hey. Make a noise for me. You can make a little noise. Ow. Ow. Pumpkin. Pumpkin do. Aww. Kitty. I'll get up there with her in a second. I just wanted to say hey and let you know that I had a good night. My car is fixed. It wasn't $2,000. It was about a tenth of that, just over a tenth of that. And it's been a good day. And I'm going to do my Christmas tree video for Sunday night. I made what I decided to do. I made video earlier today when it was daylight so you could see the trees in the daytime because they look very different in the daytime. And then I also did some video tonight with the lights off, but the Christmas tree lights on so you could see the lights and everything because they look very different night and day. But I wanted you to see both. So I'm going to do a voiceover for those because in both of them I have either the washer machine or the dryer running or some kind of racket in the background. I just decided I would do a voiceover for those. The audio quality would be better anyway than doing it on my phone. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to have that ready for Sunday night. And it, we're expected to have really terrible weather again on Sunday. It's going to be cold and rainy all day again. It was like that last Sunday. It's going to be like that again this Sunday. So I'm going to be running all my errands and doing all my things tomorrow. But I've definitely enjoyed the last three days off. It has been fantastic. I got a lot done around here. Oh, God, I did so much housework today. Because I had no car for the first half of the day. So I stayed here. I swept. I mopped. I vacuumed. I cleaned the bathrooms. I scrubbed floors. I What did I do? I did a bunch of laundry. I put stuff on eBay. I, I've just done a little bit of everything around here today. Wow. Lots of dusting, picking up, putting away, cleaning, just generic housework kind of stuff. And it was very satisfying to do that today. I really, I really enjoy doing that kind of stuff and getting it done. And everything smells all nice and clean and looks good. And Pumpkin's giving me the stink eye. Look at her. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Pumpkin do. She always looks really pissed off. But she's purring. She's purring. She's not mad. She wants me to get up on the bed. I guess I better do it. But happy Friday to you. I hope you have a fantastic day. I didn't get to do the nail polish video the other day because I went in there and they had almost no nail polish in the nail polish section. And what little bit they did have was organized and there wasn't really anything to do. So then I stopped by a second Walmart and it wasn't labeled, which I don't get because this is one the last time I went in there it was labeled. But all the labels have been removed. I think they're getting ready to redo it or something. I don't know. I wish they'd just label the damn nail polish at the Taj Mahal Mart pumpkin. That's the one I want to go to, but it's been unlabeled now. If it, if it remains unlabeled next month, I can officially say it has been unlabeled consistently for three years. It's been unlabeled, I know, since January 2021. No labels on it anywhere. Three, three freaking years. What for? I know it's an outside company that does not I'm just wondering why they're not doing it. They've labeled the nail polish at other Walmarts, but not the Taj Mahal Mart, the fancy Walmart. 
Everything else in that store is fancy. I know, pumpkin. I don't get it either. Stupid. Definitely a first world problem, but it still bothers me. Like, I want to organize your nail polish. They have their nail polish literally just piled in there. It's just piles of nail polish in the display. I would pay money to go in there. Like, put the labels on. Just put them on and leave me alone over here for about two hours. I would thoroughly enjoy every minute of organizing that nail polish, man. Because it is in piles. I would thoroughly enjoy it. It'd be like a trip to Disney World for me. Like, just let me at it. Let me at it. Let me go over there with my phone and just leave me alone for two hours and then come back and watch. Just look at the magic that you're going to see over here. You're not going to believe it. I'm going to have it looking beautiful. That's all I want for Christmas. Santa, that's what I want for Christmas. Give me that nail polish section at the Taj Mahal Mart labeled. Just leave it as it is. Leave the nail polish piled in there. It's not even in the little slots. It's just mountains. It's just little mounds of nail polish. Like, I'm just salivating. I'm just like, God, I want to organize that nail polish so bad. <sighs> I'm almost at the point where I'm going to organize it whether it's labeled or not. Like, I just can't stand it. I have like blue balls for this nail polish. Like, I want to organize it so bad. It is catastrophic. Mm. I go check it. Yeah, look at me like, she looks like Walter Cronkite. Look at her. I go in there and I check it periodically to see if it's labeled. It has never been labeled. We're going on three years. I've been checking it and it's not labeled. They've reorganized and rearranged that whole store in that time. Still not done. They moved all the nail polish, but it still has no labels. Chaps my ass, pumpkin. Anyway. Yeah, did you say something? Huh? Hey. She tried really hard to be Siamese. She's a tortamese. She's a tortamese. She is. She has marbly ears. Her feet are like that too, her legs. She tried really hard. She did. You know, remember, were you around when we got her? That was in 2016. That was in October of 2016. I could hold her in my hand. She was so, you were so tiny. Her head was like the size of a golf ball. And I was really worried about her. I was worried. I didn't know if she'd make it or not. She was so small. But she did. She made it. She a good girl. Evie had to teach her how to use the litter box. And she Evie did. She she kind of took her under her wing. Yes. Yes. She made it. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a good weekend coming up. I finished my Christmas shopping today. Um, the last thing I wanted to get was a calendar for my dad and well, he might be watching, so I don't want him to know what I got. But it's a cute calendar. It's really, it's really funny. It's actually very cool. Um, I got a calendar for myself. I'll have to show it to you when I put it up. It's um, cats. Maybe I should show it to you now because when it's time to put it up, I won't remember that I told you I was going to show it to you. Now, I've done the Bob Ross calendar every year now for, what, three or four years? This year, I decided to go with something different because I think the kids are burnt out on Bob Ross. They want something different. So I found this on Amazon. I think pumpkins. Are you looking at it? Movie Cats by Vincent He. Hi. Look at that. It's Gandalf. <laughs> and on the back, it shows you some of them. We have paws up there, like jaws. Look at that. Yeah, movie cats. So it's like movie scenes, but they have cats. Look at, there's a Wizard of Oz. Look at that. <laughs> uh, there's a Top Gun. Back to the Future. <laughs> it's Marty. <laughs> Harry Potter. I just thought it was cute. So we have, oh, there's Indiana Jones. But they have different names for them. Let me see. I want to see. They have different names for them. Like Paul's Ollie, that one. That looks like Wally, kind of. Let's see. Hold on a second. I'll find one for you. Don't they have a name on here? I thought they did. Hang on a second. Uh, da, 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 da. Hang on. I guess I'm wrong. I was thinking there was a play on words for every one of them, but look at that. Isn't he a handsome fella? <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, that's my calendar for next year. It's mo we're doing movie cats next year. 
It's very cute. Pumpkin is not impressed. Anyway, sorry. I just had to show you my calendar because I thought it was cute. It's, it's living in my closet until January 1st. But thank you so much again for watching and for being here. I hope you have a great weekend, and I'll see you again soon.